Allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala about wearing the jilbab. And yu'rafna fala yu'dhain. It's better that, you know, they don't get hurt, harassed. Now, at the time of the ayah, the harassment was considered physical harassment because some men used to see certain women wearing, you know, for example, dress that was not appropriate. They would gun after them. They might hurt them. So it's out of protection. However, the ayah may be extended not just for physical harassment, but rather even for psychological and emotional harassment. There is a paper that was published, and there are many of these papers. I, I've quoted this paper maybe in the past. In 2008, 2008, there was a professor by the name of Shelley Grabe, G-R-A-B as in boy, E, Grabe. Professor Grabe, she published a paper in 2008 talking about the role of the media, the role of the media in, and its impact on girls and women. She says in her paper, the introduction of a paper, that 50%, 50% of children, of girls, and undergraduate women, 50% of them, are suffering from emotional and psychological problems because of the media's impact on the perception of beauty, beauty. So for example, she talks about some very interesting figures that she reveals. She says, and I'm quoting this, these perceptions develop ret relatively early, emerging among children as young as age seven and appear to exist, exist across diverse levels of body, size, and race. These feelings are not inconsequential. It means they have consequences. What are some of these consequences? They have been linked to critical physical and mental health problems. Physical and mental health problems. Research from perspective and longitudinal designs has identified body dissatisfactions, dissatisfaction with the body as one of the most consistent and robust risk factors for eating disorders, such as bulimia. Bulimia means when the person, you know, throws up, tries not to eat much food. Some girls feel, even though they're, they're thin, they feel that they're still too fat. So they start not to eat food. Bulimia. And as a significant predictor of low self-esteem, depression, and obesity. Thus, in many ways, body dissatisfaction has emerged as a core aspect of women's physical and mental health. This is a research paper. This is not written by a Muslim. Shelley Grabe, Ward, and Hyde. These are the three professors, and Shelley is from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Oh,